Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Killing in the Name by Rage Against the Machine. So, it's actually my first Rage Against the Machine song. I didn't even realize that. So, uh, we are going to take care of that right now. So, we are tuned to drop D tuning. So, for those who don't know what that is, take your low E string and tune it down a whole step to D. And you'll be in drop D. So... It allows you to sound bigger than you really are. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with this intro, which is, if you know what a D major chord is, you basically grab a D major, but don't have the note on the high E string. All right, so, all right, so what we're going to do is just have the note of the G and the D string, a G and the B string there, and then the three low open strings. All right, so you hit that four times just like that, and then we go into the main riff, which I was playing at the beginning. All right, so the big thing with this riff is the muting. Now, if you come back down and mute with the pick on the string, it can create noise. So what I like to do is, uh, when I'm doing riffs like this, mute it with, my fingers coming down so I have this open low low string and then let the fingers come down and kill it so if you can get that timing like that make it sound really punchy and then you can go into the which is very simple 11 12 on the D and then same thing on the G then repeat and the fourth time we have this which is 11, 12 on the D, but this time just skip right to the 12 on the G and do a whole step bend and release there. All right, so you repeat all that one more time and then we have this. Alright, so that's leading into the, that main, main riff coming up. So we have, or the verse. So we had this, the same muted on the low D string three times, and then the sixth fret on the A string six, three times. And then on the fourth time, that last thing I hit was an octave. Now, what is an octave, if, if you don't know what it is? It's sixth fret there on the A string, and then eighth fret on the G string there. So they're the same note, an octave apart. Now, we have a string in the middle there that we don't want to be heard. So what we want to do is mute it with the bottom of your index finger. So you're holding the fifth string down with your index, and then letting it touch the, the kind of meaty part of your finger, touch that D string so it can't really ring. And then you grab the G string there, or the eighth fret with your third or fourth finger, whatever's more comfortable. And then when you hit all three strings, you only hit the two outside ones. You pick that and you slide down. And then we have the verse riff, which sounds like this. All right, so what's going on there? We have this. The low two strings open. Then you're gonna hammer three to five on the A. Then you're gonna, once again, mute the strings and do a down up on those strings. So you're gonna actually hit them, but they're gonna be muted. And then you're gonna come over to the uh, third fret on the D string and hammer three to four. Back down to the fifth fret on the A string. Open strings again, and then now uh, since we're in drop D, we can do these power chords with one finger. So we have that's the second fret across the low sixth string and the fifth string. Hammer on with your second finger to the same two strings on on the uh, uh, fifth and sixth string uh, the, on the third fret. Back to the twos and back to the open. So this. The 
Murphy. Now, when the vocals come in, by the way, I'm pretty much on the neck pickup there. It sounds like he's on his neck pickup uh, for most of the song. It's just, you can just kind of roll the volume off a little bit and just, just kind of do the same riff. All right, and then we have the chorus riff, which sounds like this. takes us into this uh, this next section. So let's do this. We have um, the chorus with this low E open, and then the hammer three to five again on the A string. The mute the strings, quick down up. You're gonna come up here and grab the ninth fret on the D string. And then the same thing again. This time grab the eighth fret of the D, and then again, And then the seventh fret on the D. Then the low two strings open again. And then kind of the same ending as a previous riff, except you can do that hammer from two to three twice. And repeat. Now the different ending, instead of doing is the second time through. That's the power chord here at the third fret of the A string. The third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D, and quick down strokes, bring it up. And now we're to the octave shape, but instead this time and at the sixth fret off the A string, it's the fifth fret. So one fret lower than you were doing it earlier. And once again, when you play it down, up, down, and then kill it. So you don't want to go. You gotta, every time you hit it, you gotta release the pressure. Don't leave the string. Just let it, just do it to release the pressure of your fingers just to, to lay in on the strings. So that's when they're doing, uh, now you do what they told you part right here. So you do this a little bit. And then we start adding a lot of muted strings. Well, it's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up with the, the strings still muted. So it's... And he starts, there's a little overdub that comes in with some guitar noise, but continuing the riff that's going on underneath it. So the same thing again. It's a new noise in. And then kind of play the octave and slide down. So he does that some. Now at the end he does this. So that's just an octave up. So basically an octave on the guitar, if you don't know, is 12 frets. So this is the fifth fret. Move this exact same shape up to the 17th fret. Really be careful and mute all the other strings around it. Down, down up, down up, down up, down. So that's a little triplet feel. And then we're to this riff. That's that rhythm on those octaves again at the fifth fret. And then that is the power chord, the bottom two strings, third fret across the, the low string and the fifth string, the low D. And the fifth string, the third fret, then the fifth with your third finger, both of those strings, and then the third fret on the A.
Then we're back to the verse again, which is the same as the first verse. So it was just kind of the quiet version of this. Except the fourth time through that little riff, we had this little fill. That's just 10, 11, 12 on the A, then the same thing on the D. And then a quick little trill, 10th fret of the G, hammer 11, and pull back up to 10. Then back to the riff, and then it goes into the same chorus riff, uh, played the exact same way and everything. Now, um, so we continue this, uh, this chorus riff. Um, you go back into the, there's a guitar solo that comes up. Now the guitar solo, I just kind of, you already know the riff that's working on underneath the solo. It's um, pretty obvious. Um, it's just this one. It just does that underneath the guitar solo. I'm not doing the solo because, you know, I could figure it out. I mean, it's not that difficult of a solo to figure out. It's pretty, it's got a, a, a definitive pattern about the picking. Uh, but it doesn't sound anything like it, so it's not really like if unless you have the pedal he's using, which is a whammy pedal that he rocks between making it sound an octave higher and two octaves higher. Uh, really, anything I would show you is just you know I can show you what he's playing, but it just doesn't sound like it unless you have that pedal. So I kind of thought better of it. So anyway, but that's the riff that goes on underneath the solo, um, and then we have the bridge section coming out of the solo which is gonna give you another uh, octave workout. It sounds like this. Back to that familiar riff. So that is just doing, you know, basically tremolo picking, which is just down up as fast as you can. Now, <clears throat> to help that, take your wrist and bow it out just a little bit. If you raise your wrist, it's a lot easier than doing it like this. So to pick across strings like that rapidly, that's just kind of raise the wrist. That's the now I'll just take you up the scale here. Uh, basically do this for a measure of each three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So it's five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, and then when you get to seventeen, You're going to continue the picking, but sliding, re repeatedly sliding into it. So 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 13, 15. So triple O, pick that all the way up. All right, and then we're back to that. Now that riff continues, and then ap after it's played for, um, you know, basically two full times through, uh, well, the riff itself, the whole part, so it's actually eight times you're playing the riff. Then we basically have another overdub, which is a D minor seven chord, so you're gonna bar across the fifth fret there, and then you play the sixth fret on the B, seventh fret on the D. Now we're to this. That's just that octave at the fifth fret, triple low picked, and then the low E three times, and then six at the fifth fret. And that's it for all of Killing in the Name. It's a it's a fun one to play. It's got some nice, cool groove and riffs, and uh, some fun guitar parts. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.